talking about three new things I'm gonna grow in the garden this year is almost impossible for me because this year almost half of what I'm planting is going to be completely new to me. Not only are we going to be trying a totally new technique of growing where we're going to try to do a lot of things by starts instead of direct seeding which is how we've done it for years and years but we're also completely changing the focus of our crops. Our goal is to grow as much as possible this year and we don't need to limit ourselves in the amount that we grow because we also have plans to be donating a lot of the food that's coming out of our garden. So because of that, we're, we're growing in a totally new way, a totally different technique. But as I enjoyed everyone talking about the three new things that they're going to be growing in their gardens on this collaboration, it got me thinking about one of the things that influenced me when I went to make my seed order, and that is Instagram. Now, if you're not part of the Instagram gardening community, be careful because it is very dangerous because everyone is growing the most amazing plants and taking the most amazing pictures and I have been very, very influenced by Instagram in some of the seeds that I ordered this year. So in an attempt to join the Instagram Cool Kid Club, I ordered all of the most cool, most exciting things that I saw pop up in my Instagram account last year, and I'm gonna share those with you. So my Instagram made me do it. Three new things I'm growing this year are dragon tongue beans, which are a purple and yellow variegated bush bean that looks so cool. I'm so excited to grow these. Cucamelons, which are these little mini cucumbers that end up looking like little mini watermelons, which yet again, how, how would you not want to take a picture of a handful of those? And then finally, purple kohlrabi. I spent an entire year drooling over everyone's beautiful pictures of these plants and I'm very, very excited to be the, the new person on the Cool Kid Club list, growing these, making everyone else jealous. So 2018 Instagram, here I come. I'm gonna blow your socks off with how awesome my super cool plants are. And because it is literally impossible for me to only talk about three new things. Bonus! These are the other plants that I was influenced by Instagram to grow. This is seeds for a purple pea, which have these beautiful variegated purple and white flowers in the spring, and then they put on these rich purple pea pods that are super delicious. I'm very excited to be able to make everyone jealous of my peas with that. And then also asparagus bean or yard long beans. I saw the most amazing pictures of these. People would be standing there holding up their holding up their beans and literally they'd be down to the ground. It's one of those plants it's hard to believe it's going to actually do that, but says it does so I'm giving it a try and when I do let me tell you there's gonna be a picture of me <laughs> holding those beans bragging about how great they are if you want to know all of the things that I'm growing this year I'll put a card up above of a link it's a half an hour of me going over the list it is a little excessive but my garden's a little excessive so <laughs> I want to thank wholesome roots for coming up with this collaboration and opening it up to everyone so that people like me can have an excuse to talk yet again about my seeds and you know be overindulgent because I just I can't stop talking about them I'm so excited about them I can't wait for oh, everything to get started I'm super pumped I mean I'm out here in my greenhouse and inside the greenhouse it's warm enough that I don't need to have a jacket on I still have a while yet but oh. I'm excited. <laughs> and because I'm the biggest cheater ever, <laughs> come and check out three things I'm currently eating out of my garden, despite the fact it's Canada and it's a very, very long time until my spring garden will be going. Unlike all of you Texas, Southern United States people that get me so jealous, getting your tomatoes already. <sighs> okay, come on, come see. I'm super excited that my walking onions have started growing. These are a perennial onion that we pick and use as a green onion. And they've, they've done actually a lot of growth. 
in the last couple of weeks considering we're still getting freezing temperatures overnight. One thing that we always have a lot of here over the winter is kale. This is a variety of kale called winter boar that will grow without any any sort of protection in, in our climate. And so this is pretty much one of the things that we eat all winter and all early spring. And finally, we have some turnips that are starting to green up really nicely. These are overwintered. If this is your first time at our channel, we'd love to have you join us and subscribe. We have a pretty big gardening project in the works and we hope that it'll encourage you to grow maybe more than just three new things. <laughs> I've been vegetable gardening for over 15 years, but this year I'm doing something totally different, something that I've never done before, and I'm not sure how it's gonna go. <laughs> but I can't wait to share it with all of you and also get all the other tips from all you other growers out there on YouTube and try to get as much success as possible. So, <laughs> we'll see you again.